All right, I'm back. <laughs> so let's start off with first, who am I? I'm Jermaine Calando. Yep, yeah, that's me, Jermaine Calando, and I'm back. <sighs> um, we're gonna do this where I'm re gonna record this today, and I may record more videos, and you're gonna see this every single day. That means a lot is about to happen to this channel, and that means we're gonna do a lot of different things, though. So. I have plans where I'm going to be watching movies again. I feel like I should bring back fall movies, rom-com movies, and I need to do back of everything. I've been slacking because I have been exhausted and also out of place. And it's time to get back to my placement. <laughs> and that means it's time to get back on YouTube. And it's time to gather some people. So, yesterday was the first time at the job I now currently work. I felt overwhelmed. And not overwhelmed where I don't know what's happening. I felt, I don't know if I could work here anymore. And I haven't felt like that in a very long time, personally. What I do now, I'm a supervisor, so it's not as easy going as it used to be. I was once upon a time working third shift at Walmart, <laughs> living my best life, having all the time in the world during the day. And now my day is filled with caring about coworkers and caring about customers. And I do customer service, which I'm grateful for. It just feels as though I'm plateauing and I've never wanted to ever plateau again. I worked my last job since for 13 years, almost 14 years, you know? And I've always made it my new goal with my, what I do, which is comedy. I do stand-up, I do improv, you know? So this is why this channel exists. Is this from prior because I wanted to heal me and heal others as much as we can heal and talk about stuff that was going on. I was 26, 27 learning who I am, you know? I'm now 33, but then single, now with someone long distance. But I've changed, and I don't know if I will ever go back to, this is my life, this is my journey, this is who I am. But also, this is who I am, though. Because that's kind of a part of who I am as a person. I don't mind talking about my comedy about the person I'm with. I don't mind talking about that like that there. Because it's not fully there. But if y'all doing vlogs and stuff, was well, my home. You know what I mean? Like, and I've gained weight. <laughs> um, y'all saw me for the first time while I had had a um, eating disorder. A strong, um, a strong disorder with my weight, and I am more comfortable with my skin this time. But also, I love all of me as is. You know what I mean? Which is hard because it's not like before. When you don't love what you look like, you're gonna shape it fast. I embrace everything about my body, and that's weird for some people. But I am raised different, you know. Is that it was very eye opening because I was like, ugh, 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 at work, like, oof, 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 at work. And I also realized this battle's not mine. This battle's not mine. And I don't know if I could, I don't know what's gonna happen now. Because, like, I love my job. I don't mind my job. It's very humbling. I like, to help people out. I get to do, I get to see the real world. And, but I felt my seasonal, I felt my depression kick in, like my emptiness kick in, and I didn't want it to happen again, you know. <laughs> Highs and lows are part of people's triggers. I think, and then um, I also realized that I am an um, emotional eater, and I need to be an emotional workouter again. Um, I have been hard on me recently, like really, really hard on me, like disrespectful to me, and that's not okay. You know what I mean? So this is my welcome back from me to you, 
from Jermaine Alexander Galindo to whoever watches. Um, the goal now for the channel is to just see where the views will go. We will start Pop Day again. I will do Pop Day. I just don't know the magnitudes of how I can do it again because I still need to outsource my resources and stuff like that and do all those things. It will stop and start and all that kind of stuff too and you know bridge everything together. For the most part, I just wanted to tell y'all I was back and the next video is going to be probably happier. But for this Tuesday to next, to this Sunday, well no, to even Saturday, I just need to heal. You know, um, I have a uh, cry today. I saw Chadwick Boseman put on uh, Black Panther to this um, NBA player, and um, it was so beautiful. And, and I almost posted like, "I cry like a baby," and I said, "I cry like a human." And I think I thought about it. Like I posted about it before. Why I was mad about the Angela Bassett thing? Why like, she didn't win? Black Panther 2 is one of the most healing movies I've ever seen last year. And I sobbed at that movie five times. It was joy, pain, and also remembering pain. And allowing pain to pass through me, you know. The last time I um got emotional was, through Marvel especially, was um, WandaVision. It is nostalgia at its highest, but it's also watching trauma and seeing someone go through all the stages of grief and literally trying to pretend like this is her life. No, I guess not. She was willing to accept this. Could be yes. And then part of her own illusion, she let go of because that's just what she had to do. You know what I mean? I have been holding back, I think, from everyone, even myself. And I um been feeling ugh, a lot lately. A lot. Ugh. And I've like the week before, I felt bad cuz I didn't go out two nights in a row. The week before last, I didn't go out two nights in a row and one night I um, overslept. And I have put a toll on me because I um, did a festival and it made me happy. And after the festival, I think I am happy, but I'm also lost. And it feels weird that I'm lost because I'm okay, but I don't know if I have what I used to have as my backup like I used to. Like my dude, he, he's my best friend. He was there for me today, earlier today and everything. And it helps that know that someone that, you know, that loves you like that way, cares about you. I just had a hell of a day. Everyone has a hell of a day, but I've never had to call in a while. Because it was like too much on me, you know? I'm trying my best to elevate my career, you know, with comedy. But there's no know how. It's just I need to get funnier. I need to figure out my jokes. I need to make sure my stuff is right. I need to make sure I'm doing it right. And I feel all this pressure pushing down on me. And I don't know what to do with it anymore. It accelerates me when I'm on stage. It makes me feel phenomenal when I'm on stage. I feel like I am meant to be doing what I do when I'm at night doing it. But the problem is that I can't, I don't know if I can do it full time still. Because I don't have enough money saved. And now I have to work. A job that I hate. And now I thought about changing again I was only supposed to be at this job for three months the six months and then find out something better I've been there going on 
month 10 in October over 10 months. Not okay. At all. But it's not their fault. You know, I've been going places because I love the men I love. I've been going up there see him. And I've been allowing my comedy to happen. And it's no one else's fault but mine. And it's not a fault. It's just a moment of misguidedness, I guess. And the misgivings of it all makes me feel mishapful. It makes me feel miserable. It makes me feel not seen and heard. And that's not fair to me either. But that's all for this. If you want to see more of me self-healing, I'm going to do a video a day tomorrow. It'll be early. So you will see me do an early video compared to the, this is 11-11. <laughs> I'm gonna post it very fast. It's gonna be like a post <laughs> every day for the next week. And um, I will just tell people to watch it. Whoever watches, watches it. We're not gonna really down on this one. You know what I mean? We'll get but we'll get my algorithm going, I guess. Alright. Alright, I love you guys. Alright, bye.